It was a busy time at Evans Pool, open for lap swim. According to Seattle Parks and Recreation, a man wearing board shorts entered the women's locker room and took off his shirt. Women alerted staff who told the man to leave, but he said, the law has changed and I have a right to be here. It's really bizarre. Yeah. I can't imagine why they want to do that anyway. Marianne Sato uses the locker room a few times a week and says this is a first. It also was for Seattle Parks and Rec. They say the man made no verbal or physical attempt to identify as a woman. But he still cited a new rule that allows bathroom choice based on gender identification. Either identify yourself as a transgender or you're not and you're just taking advantage of a loophole. Well, good morning and thank you all for coming out. The issue of toilet wars drew protesters from both sides to Olympia on Monday. Opponents claim the rule opens up bathrooms to voyeurs. This code was so poorly written that it contains so many loopholes that predators will abuse. We know because we have lived it. But supporters say that's an unrealistic fear. Somebody is being uh, voyeuristic or is going to hurt somebody, that's still illegal and they will still be arrested. No one was arrested in this case. Police weren't called, even though the man returned a second time while young girls were changing for swim practice. It sort of works against the point that they're trying to make. You know, they're, they're causing people to feel um, exposed and vulnerable in a place like that with the intention of reducing people feeling exposed and vulnerable. So Pool regular like, Alden Shank so says the man's reason. protest, if that's what it was, hurts the greater cause. As far as policy to protect everyone, Seattle Park says it's still working on the issue. Right now, there's no specific protocol for how someone should perform their gender in order to access a bathroom. They just rely on verbal identification or physical appearance. And this man offered neither.